April 2014 towards the end of the month so I just wanted to make this video of for all those Levi's uh, vintage jacket collectors I know there's there's not a lot of videos on YouTube on Big E jacket so I thought I'll make one of the collection I have and when I say Big E what I mean is like the pocket tab if you look it'll have Big E on them and if you are a jacket collectors Levi jacket collectors then you'll definitely know when I when I say Big E you'll know what it means but for those of you who are not aware Big E jackets are the ones that were made anytime from 60s to 1971 because after 1971 Levi stopped making jackets with Big E and what they did was they replaced the Big E with small E and after around like 19 mid 80s they also started putting pockets chest pockets but this one doesn't have one so let me start with this jacket as you can see this is a, a blanket lined Levi's Big E and you can also see the Troy blanket lining label is intact it is a Big E I mentioned and if you flap the pocket it has just black stitching and the second jacket is also a big E blanket lined big E but the difference between this blanket lined and the first one is like the labels this one has a smaller label but this one has a cardstock patch and cardstock patch most of the times you'll see it's all broken and the other difference is the buttons this one has rounded buttons and also if you look at the pocket if you flap the pocket you'll have you'll see golden stitching so if you have a jacket biggie jacket with golden stitching then I think that's special this one is just a regular big E jacket it's not blanket line but it's still big E with black stitching on the pockets and even this one also has rounded buttons now this one doesn't have the label but the, it's still a big E jacket Levi's big E with rounded buttons now this one doesn't have the label and even the buttons are flat on this one but it's a big E jacket nicely made now I have this particular biggie which I wanted to talk about when I first got this jacket I was worried because the label here did not say it was made in USA and I thought initially all the biggie jackets were made in USA but then when I look at this label I think you can see it says it's made in Hong Kong and what I found out was I did some research and what I found out was like the jackets made in Hong Kong or Macau was for the Canadian market so if you have a biggie jackets that's either made in can I mean made in Hong Kong or Macau so that was specially made for the Canadian market now this is a big e jacket it's not a denim jacket it's just cotton regular cotton but it if you can see here yeah it's white tab it's still big e and the buttons are snap buttons so I thought this would be a nice piece to add to my collection now this one is another one which I was talking about this was made for the Canadian market it's still a big E corduroy jacket with white tab and this one as I said earlier is made in Macau so this was specially made for the Canadian market and I bought it on eBay and it was shipped from Canada so I wasn't surprised when I got that Canadian jacket I mean made in Macau jacket big E now this one is a special jacket like it is a trucker jacket but it's type Two. the type 2 jacket has like this breast creases or pleats I don't know whatever they're called but it's it's a big E unfortunately this is not a true vintage it's it's a replica when I mean rep when I when I say replica it means it was officially made by Levi's but it was made for the Japanese market if you have a, this particular jacket or original jacket then it'll be from the mid 50s and this is this was made in Japan it's a 507 XX and for the Japanese jacket you can actually find out exactly when the jacket was made if you flip the label 
you can see here it says JL001 so that suggests it was made in July of 2001 and this particular number J02 I think it's it's not just for the jackets but even for the jeans they have they're stamped with J and the number so for this particular jacket all the buttons are stamped with Z, J and 02 but it's a nice jacket because you see here it's like silvage denim now this jacket is not a big a jacket it's a small jacket small jacket but still made in USA and this one does not have chest pockets and you can also see let me see yeah see this one two line double stitching on that bottom buttonhole so this suggests that the jacket was made somewhere in the mid 80s because in 1971 was the last time uh, Levi's made jackets with Big E and right after that the first thing they changed was they made the tab into small e and the earlier jackets had had single stitching but later they started having the making jackets with double stitching so this one dates back to mid 80s now this particular jacket is not a vintage jacket at all but it's still a nice jacket it is made in turkey but it it's it's a silver denim jacket so this is really good and it's rigid still regular just like a small e and it does not have any pockets i think the retail value for this jeans is like 150 plus the regular jacket that's you get it within 80 dollars 90 dollars but this is silver denim so that makes it a little bit more expensive and the last jacket I have is a special jacket. This is in fact like the first jacket I purchased about two and a half years, three years ago. And why it's special is because this, you can say it's still a silvage. It is not a biggie, it's a smally jacket. But the pocket has yellow stitching. And the buttons are real copper buttons. And another thing I wanted to show you why it's special is because it is made in the USA because you hardly find jackets or anything made in USA and if you find one they're really expensive so here's my collection and one more thing before I end what I like to tell you is like if you're collecting denim Levi's Biggie jackets and if you come across a 557 model when I say 557 it's like you just look at the label this one is 70505 but if you have a 557 and that means you have a very very nice piece and it'll go for you know like a decent condition I think it'll, it, could, it could go for 200 plus dollars so keep an eye on like big e jackets or even small e with just single lining single stitching or double stitching but just just the chest pockets no side pockets so if you have those it's a good one so there you go that's my collection of my jeans I hope this was informative if you have any comments or suggestions or anything about the jacket if you want to know more just uh, send in some comments and hopefully I will respond or someone someone else will respond so thank you so much for watching